Welcome class. Uh, my name is Brent Reese. I'm your instructor for Math 154 Quant Reasoning. This is the fall of 2021. This is the online section. Uh, this is the fourth time I'm recording this welcome video. I've never had so much issues with a video recording. Uh, the first time I recorded it and I posted it to you guys, it didn't have any volume because I'm on a new MacBook and apparently you have to turn the microphone on. I just thought once you hit record, it would have the microphone on, so there was no audio. And then the second and third time I recorded it, it, uh, it just didn't save correctly and wouldn't upload to YouTube, so I'm trying again here. I'm gonna get this to you. Uh, I just wanna go through uh, about 20, 25 minutes here and go through the expectations, what you can expect from me this semester, what I'll expect from you, and kinda how this course is going to go. So we're starting on the home page here on Canvas. This is where, uh, you know, Canvas is where I'm going to communicate with you, okay? Um, in this class, we'll study proportional reasoning, financial literacy, validity studies. We have about five topics we're going to go through. This is a survey course in math. The reality is, is that you all need a math course to graduate and you don't want it to be calculus. You don't want it to pre be pre-calculus. Typically, students in this class aren't, uh, you know, math isn't their thing. Um, you're not going into engineering or, or the sciences in that way in the STEM field. So you, but you have to get your math credit, so you take this course. So this course is set up to just be more like a survey course. Here's some topics in math. Here's some things in math that adults use that maybe you didn't see in high school. So while there's going to be some things that you have seen, we'll start off with like percents, some things you've seen before. We'll get into some things that you've never seen before, um, but they are very um, well utilized by adults in all kinds of ways. And, and so they're just good to experience, good to know about. So then you can um, you know, be fluent in, that, in those things uh, as well. Um, uh, here is my email and here's my office phone. I'd recommend not using either of these things to contact me. If you want to contact me, use the Canvas inbox. If you click on inbox here, it'll then let you compose a message to me. That just keeps things a little bit more organized for me. I have three sections of quant reasoning, some on Monday, Wednesday, some on Tuesday, Thursday, and some online with you guys. And so when students just ask me, hey, uh, you know, when, when is this due? I've got to go find what class you're in because I don't know you yet. And so it, it takes me a little bit of time to figure out what exactly you're talking about. This, when you shoot me an email, it'll tell me what class you're in and it just keeps it more organized for me. And that sounds like I'm asking you to, you know, I'm, I want to be lazy about it. And really, I just want to make sure if, as long as things are, uh, can get to me organized, then then I can have an, uh, a correct, a more correct response back. Um, when I start shuffling around classes and looking for students, sometimes I miscommunicate. I think they're in a different class for whatever reason. So anyway, just use this inbox to communicate with me, okay? Uh, if you have questions, email me questions. Just know that if you email me a math question, my response is probably going to be, can we meet through Zoom? And, ta and, and take a look at it together. I typically don't answer math questions through email because there's really just nothing worse than a student trying to explain their math question and a teacher trying to explain the answer through email. It just goes so much better in a five minute Zoom meeting. So if you do have a math question or you wanna discuss something, email me and it also help if you would just go ahead and say, I'm available at these times in the next few days and then I can send you a Zoom link uh, and, we, and we'll meet for five or 10 minutes and get everything taken care of. Um, because if you just send me, I'm having a, question, a problem with this math problem, I'm gonna say, when are you available? So then we're three, two, three emails into getting this Zoom scheduled, okay? So if you have a math question, go ahead and tell me when you're available for Zoom and I'll send you back a Zoom meeting link and we'll get it done, okay? Um, I do have on-campus office. I do teach on campus. If you want to come into campus, I, my office is in Suffolk, 112K. I'm here Monday, 4 to 5 p.m. 
Wednesday, I'm actually in Smithfield. So if you're in Smithfield, I'll be there from 4 to 5 p.m. Wednesday. And then Tuesday, Thursday, uh, 8 to 9 and 12.15 to 2.15 if you want to come in and, and talk about anything, okay? Um, how I'm going to communicate with you will be through announcements. You guys already saw an announcement yesterday on Monday where I said, hey, my video, my welcome video that I posted didn't have sound on it, so I'm going to re-record this later. I ended up recording it twice yesterday. And both times it didn't didn't take. So I'm hoping this one works. Hoping you watch this one. I don't want to do it a fifth time. Okay. So every Monday you should expect uh, an announcement for me laying out the week's work. In this video announcement that we're watching, I'll lay out this week's expectations. Um, so you'll see that. But every Monday I'll make an announcement. It might be in the morning. It might be in the afternoon. Uh, it might be in the evening. I'm not going to say, hey, by 9 a.m. you'll have an announcement. It'll be in the day uh, of Monday. I will say, hey, here's, the, here's what I've posted. Here's the expectations for the week. And, uh, you know, so you should expect every Monday an announcement of me laying out the course. This won't be a course where I just give you everything and tell you have it done by December 10th. I'm going to pace you. Pace you. I'm going to give you small amounts or, or amounts every week uh, and we'll keep pace and um, it should it should cause for a little bit smoother ride than just giving you five chapters and saying here do all this stuff it, do, it just doesn't work well so we have the syllabus we're going to take a look at uh, I want to show you modules this is where I post the information this is where I tell you what's out there and in that announcement I'll say hey in modules I posted this and this and this so, so far, you've got the textbook. Uh, you've probably noticed that you didn't have to pay $150 for a math textbook. Um, so this you can download. It's the full PDF of the textbook. It's about five chapters that we're going to take a look at this semester. Okay. Also, I've posted 1-1 one, one, and 1-2 one, this week. Typically, every week you'll get about two sections. Two sections a week. You can do them on your own time. But the homework does have a due date. This homework is due Thursday at midnight. This homework is due next Monday. Typically, your homeworks will be due Thursday and Monday. Okay? Thursday and Monday. So in the text, in each section that I post, there's a textbook snippet. Um, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. So typically, you know, students end up just relying on this full version. And that's okay. You can scroll to the section that you, that you want to take a look at. Um, if you click on the green link, that is the lecture. You're probably wondering, am I just supposed to read the book and do the problems? No, I provide a lecture for you. If you click here and then you open in a new window, it goes to the YouTube video Three people of, out of four. this lecture. Okay, starts with unit one, 1.1%. 1 .1%. You can fast forward, rewind, watch this as many times as you'd like. Okay, so now it's on you, uh, and, and that's a good thing. You can watch this at 3 in the morning if that's your routine. Okay, you can watch this at any time it's available to you. It'll be available to you all semester. Okay, so you'll complete that lecture. I would treat it as if you were sitting in class with me. It's the same lecture you would see if you were sitting in class with me. And, you know, take notes, do the examples, work through it, learn it. Uh, and then you've got the homework. There's also sometimes some supplemental videos of some ideas, five-minute videos, two-minute videos. Uh, you can take a look at those as well. But the lecture, it's called lecture. The lecture ones, you make sure you watch. And then you click on the homework. Now on the homework, you just, I have to hit resume, but you'll hit start on yours. You get two chances, okay? You'll get a first chance. You'll get to submit it, and it'll give you feedback. It'll say you got seven out of how many correct, okay? And then you get a second attempt. It tells you which one you got wrong, which ones you got correct. Notice that there's some vocabulary. There's some fill in the blank. There's some multiple choice, true, false. Some problems throughout the homework, you'll have to uh, just answer with a few sentences. Tell me what you think. Um, but that's the homework. Uh, And uh, keep up on that. 
Okay, when we go through the syllabus, I'll talk about how, hey, I know I understand sometimes things don't get done on time, but I'm not a big fan of just, hey, I'm, we're, let's just go back six weeks and redo all your homework that you took zeros on. Okay, we'll get to that, but I'm going to pace you. Typically, you'll have an assignment due on Thursday and then the following Monday, every week this semester, 14 weeks. Okay, um, so the other thing I want you to look at is not the assignments but the discussions. I posted a discussion for this uh, semester to start out with, just introducing yourself. Hello students, I just want you to write something brief um, about, about yourself and I give you a few questions maybe if you don't know where to start. Um, but I want this due by Wednesday night and I know it's Tuesday morning now as I record this. So by tomorrow night I'd like you to have uh, introduced yourself and I'm gonna do I have that out there for attendance reasons I need to take attendance who's engaged in my class right now because at the end of the week if you don't do this discussion and you don't do the homework for 1.1 you haven't done anything this week and uh, from my perspective you're now a no-show I turn you in as a no-show you get dropped from the class so you're going to have to do things in this class for me to keep you in the class because as soon as that as you as soon as you turn to not doing things, then you risk being dropped from the class. Okay, so last thing I want to take a look at the syllabus here for a few minutes. You click on it, you can download it, you can open it up here. You have it available to you all semester. I'm not hiding anything from you. Okay, this is a contract between me and you, you and me, us and the college, and our college, Camp College, and the next university that you go to. All right, syllabus, very important to uh, other colleges. So if you, tr if you transfer, they'll want to take a look at the syllabus for this course, and that's how they'll consider how to give you credit towards your four-year degree, all right, is this syllabus. So it is an important document, but it also outlines, and it's on paper, it's the agreement of what you should expect in this class. So this, some of this stuff is already repeated. So what I want to do is I want to scroll down to what you want to see, um, attendance. So attendance is taken via homework and assignment completion. Homework on Canvas will be due on Thursday and Monday nights. If you complete the assignment, you are considered present. If you do not attempt the homework, you'll be considered absent. So you don't have to get a great score. You don't have to get an A on the homework to be marked present for that day. But if you, if you don't open it, if you don't do attempt any of it, you will be absent. If you get 1%, you're present. 0% because you didn't open it up and try it, that's absent. And I do take attendance every week. This first week, if you are absent on the discussion and you are absent on 1.1 on Thursday, then you will be dropped from the class as a no-show. All right? So if you plan on staying in the course, attempt those things, okay? Uh, if you miss more than six classes in the semester, I have the option to drop you from the class, okay? Grading. The Canvas homework is worth 20% of your grade. Unit projects are 50% of your grade. Now, in this course, we're going to do five chapters. Chapter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, we're not going to take exams after every chapter. We're not going to do chapter 1 exam, chapter 2 exam. Uh, we just found that there was too much uh, anxiety being caused, so we went to projects. In about 10 days, I'll put the Unit 1 project out there. You'll have about 10 days, 15 days to complete it, so that should reduce some of the anxiety, okay? Um, and we'll, we can talk about it and, and kind of uh, refine your project and, and make sure you're on the right track. So um, we do have exams, a midterm and a final. For the midterm and final, I know this is an online course and we're not going to meet each other physically, but for the midterm and final, I do expect that we meet via Zoom. As we get closer to the midterm, probably early October uh, at, or, or towards the end of September, I'll start talking about that in the announcements. I'll, t I'll probably make two midterm exam times. And if you can't make those two, one of those two times, you only have to make it once because I have to proctor the midterm and the final. If you can't make it to one of those, then we'll find an alternate time. I've never had a student that just can't get on Zoom and do the midterm. And by the way, you're on Zoom. 
you're going to need your camera on. That's just the expectation. Otherwise, what's the point of being on Zoom? All right, you're going to have your camera on. I'm going to proctor you during the midterm and the final. But we'll get to that when we get to that. Okay? Um, let's see. Late or makeup work? I understand that sometimes you just don't get it done by the deadline. Let me know, and we'll get it. We'll, we'll take care of it. But I'm not going to go back weeks and weeks to get, you know, because you're like, hey, I'm at a 47% and it's Thanksgiving. I want to, I need to improve my grade. Can you open up 1.1? No. Okay. I'll look at things in the last week, maybe 10 days, and we'll get them back and you'll get, uh, get them open and you'll get caught up. But I'm not interested going back weeks and weeks so you can salvage your grade. Okay. You're making decisions. You have to be responsible, and then you also have to be responsible for the consequences. You're deciding when to address these things, and so own that. You're adults. Own it. Get it done or don't, um, but we're going to keep moving forward. There is a link to BrainFuse, which is a tutoring option. So if you look over here, we have this BrainFuse. Uh, they'll give you a few hours uh, or the the Camp College has, has bought you a few hours of tutoring um, to be used. Uh, they'll help you. I think 24 hours a day you can get on there and they'll have tutors available to help you. Uh, but they're not going to do your homework for you. All right. If they pick up on, hey, here's the next problem in my homework, they're going to tell you I'm not doing that. Okay. They'll help you find ways to be successful and learn things. But they're not interested in doing your homework, so I wouldn't even try. Uh, they've let us know that we've had students try that before. So don't go that route. If you are struggling and BrainFuse isn't helping you, you can always email me and we can set up a time and we can, we can figure it out together. Okay? Uh, we'll, we'll meet over Zoom and figure it out. Um, the last thing I want to talk about is the ADA compliance. If you've ever had an IEP or a learning goal or a 504 plan, uh, in, in high school or middle school, those things, um, or any type of learning accommodation, uh, those types of things may transfer over into the college here. You just need to talk to Dr. Heiler Scott, Dr. Scott. Here's her uh, phone number. She'll get you set up with that accommodation, and once she does, she'll send it to me, and then we can follow it. I will say if you need help getting that set up, let me know. I'll help. Uh, I'm a big fan of accommodations. But you have to be proactive about it. There's no retroactive going back and fixing things because you got your accommodation at the end of the semester. Okay? The accommodation starts when you get it done with Dr. Scott. There's no going back and fixing things. Uh, I wish I had that accommodation on the midterm. Well, we can't go back and fix that. Okay? So get it done now. And again, if you need help with that, let me know and I'll help you. Um... And then there's a timeline for what we're going to do kind of on a weekly basis that you can take a look at. Okay, so uh, I hope this video works. I hope you uh, work on that discussion, get that done, and start with 1.1, and then look for, uh, you know, do 1.2 for Monday and look for another announcement uh, next Monday and on every Monday. And good luck. I think this will be a good semester. And just email me through the Canvas inbox if you have any questions. Uh, have a nice day.